Thanks to Twitter, you can share short updates about your life and follow the updates of people, topics, and organizations that matter to you. Twitter may seem silly at first, like who cares that you just saw Dotson cross the street or that you're having bologna for lunch. But within the circle of tweeters you'll create, people will be talking about what matters to you. So whether it's Dotsons or Democrats, football or fundraisers, you'll be talking about what you care about. You can access Twitter from the web or with text messaging. It's free, it's fun, and there's a whole world just waiting to hear from you. Step one. First, type www.twitter.com into the URL window, or what's called the address bar at the top of the screen. Or, if you look below this video, you'll see a link you can click to go straight to Twitter. Hang on, don't go away yet. It'll be easier if you watch this video all the way through first. Another helpful link you'll find below the video opens up a list of written instructions you can print out. Step two. Once you're on twitter.com, over to the right, you'll see new to Twitter above a big orange button labeled sign up. Go on, click on it, and let's get started. Step three. Now comes the tricky part. What will your Twitter username be? Most regular names are taken, and you don't want your username to be super long or complicated. Since Twitter only allows 140 characters, the shorter the better. Hmm, what to do? A, type in the name you want, such as Bob Smith. Twitter will tell you right away if it's taken. B, your first choice is taken? Try shortening your name or reversing first and last names. C. Still no luck? Try a nickname or something that reflects your city, your hobby, or your personality. D. If you're really having a hard time, try adding numbers like the year you were born or maybe a hyphen between the words. Take your time and don't rush. A good Twitter username is important. Step 4. Think of a password you can remember, but avoid using something too obvious like password. A pet's name or a favorite book or TV show title might be good. Just make sure it's something easy for you to remember. Step five, now type in your email address. If you don't have an email, go to how to set up a Gmail account and get one for free. Notice that there's a checkbox underneath the email box. It's asking you if it's okay for others to search for you using your email address. This is a simple security question. On Twitter, people can search for you using your full name or using your Twitter username. If you check this box, people will also be able to find you by typing in your email address. It's up to you whether or not you want people to be able to find you this way. Step 6. There is a lot of information in the Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. It's all pretty standard stuff, but feel free to read it if you'd like to know exactly how Twitter manages your information. There's also a checkbox next to a line that says, I want the inside scoop. Please send me email updates. Check or uncheck this box however you'd like. If you leave it checked, Twitter will send you an email every now and then with updates. Step 7. If you're happy with everything you've done and read, click Create My Account. When you get to the security check window, don't worry. Twitter just wants to make sure an actual human being is filling out the form and not a computer program trying to create accounts so they can spam real users. Computers can't read the weird swoopy writing, so just type the string of letters you see into the box. If you can't read them, click the Try Different Words link to get new words. If you have speakers or headphones, there's also an audio link. It may take a time or two to get it right, but don't give up. Step 8. Twitter will send you a confirmation email. No biggie. Just make sure you go to your email account and open the email, then follow the simple instructions. Step 9. Coolness. You are now on Twitter and almost ready to send out your first tweet. Follow the simple steps to find friends to follow. From celebrities to your favorite sports teams, you'll be able to find lots of like-minded people here. Maybe you don't have a lot of computer access. The good news is you can tweet and receive tweets from your phone. Before you sign up for mobile Twittering, make sure you have a texting plan. You don't want a bunch of crazy charges. To sign up for Twitter on your phone, go to Settings at the top on the right. That's where you can change your password, upload and personalize your profile, and sign up for mobile. It's really that simple.
Keep in mind that We Are Visible is our Twitter name. If you have any questions, we're here to help. Simply start your tweet with at We Are Visible and then ask your question. We'll tweet you back by starting the response with at in front of your Twitter name. It's that easy to start a conversation with anyone. Don't be shy. Say hello. Last but not least, it's important that once you are on Twitter, you come back to wearevisible.com. Click on the Be Seen tab and then the I Am Visible Twitter button. A new window will pop up. You're now on the Twitter site. If you are not already logged in, it will ask for your username and password. Log in. Now you're on your personal Twitter page, and the What's Happening box already has the We Are Visible tag filled in. Just type your message into the box. Say hello. You don't have to put in your Twitter name. It will automatically appear when you tweet. Be sure to keep your tweets below 140 characters. Messages longer than 140 characters will be cut off when you send them. One last thing, add the tag we are visible to your tweets whenever you can. This lets everyone know you are part of the We Are Visible community. And make sure to look for people talking to you and say hello back. Soon, you'll be a social media guru like all the rest of us.